this debate will never end. No, no, no. And there's always going to be one group that says it's all about this food group, this is the way to do it. No, this is the way to do it. And it well, it's but really it, person specific, too. I mean, if I ate potatoes all day, I would look like a potato. So Andrew Taylor from SpudFit is on a one-year all-potato diet and has lost over 30 pounds in about a month and a half. Today is the day, the start of day 43 and everything's going fantastically well, much better than expected so far. I feel fantastic. I've got abundant energy so much that I had to start uh, exercising again uh, about a week ago, which is pretty good. And how many pounds have you lost? Uh, I'm not sure in pounds, it's 16 kilos. We work in oh, kilos over wow. here, so that's probably, I don't know, 30 plus pounds. So, yeah. Andrew, tell us a little more about the diet. I just make mashed potatoes or boiled potatoes or baked potatoes. I make everything without oil and uh, or anything fatty added at all. And, uh, and I have some a small amount, minimal amount of herbs and spices and sauces like tomato and barbecue and chili sauce and things like that. That's awesome. Andrew is pretty much eating like all of us vegans here on YouTube are advocating. Now let's see what happens when they bring in Dr. John McDougall, who is a medical doctor and the author of The Starch Solution. I do want to bring into the conversation Dr. McDougall because Dr. McDougall, when I think of potatoes, I do think of them as life-sustaining in, in some of these famines we've talked about. But you actually believe that this is this is a great thing to just eat potatoes or is your perspective more so that if you go this route, you'll be just fine? If you go this route, you'll be just fine. But my main focus and what I really like to get across to people is that human beings are starch eaters. Uh, but think about various diets around the world. Uh, in the Far East, people that live on rice are used to 90% of their diet was rice. In uh, Central America, the Aztecs and the Mayans were known as the people of the corn. In uh, South uh, America, the Incas uh, and the other people there, they uh, eat basically potatoes. Nice. So that was a really great anthropological response by Dr. McDougall uh, because all large successful populations have been eating a starch-based diet. Rice, corn, potatoes, bean, peas, lentils. There's so much evidence showing that starch played such a huge role in the development of our civilization. Now let's see what the doctors have to respond with. We can't deny the fact that potatoes don't have all the nutrients that you right. need to, to live a healthy existence, correct? They, that's incorrect. They have, you can live on all potato diets alone. There was an experiment done uh, and published in the Biochemical Journal in 1928 where they took a man and a woman. They were both athletes and uh, they put them on an all potato diet for six months. And they said that they had no desire for change. They enjoyed the diet. And when they analyzed them physically, they found them to be in excellent health on an all potato diet. Ooyigasha! I've been waiting so long to see Dr. McDougall on the Doctor's TV show. But this wasn't really that much different than Angie and Ryan going on the show talking about their banana island diet. High potassium in your blood can cause everything from nausea and vomiting to muscle weakness to so slow heart, heart rate problems. to cardiac standstill. I've, I've checked up on how much potassium right, you need to have an overdose. You need to have roughly 300 bananas in 30 seconds. Virtually impossible. Yeah, so like you heard, there was a study published a while ago on this type of diet. And, you know, there's various vloggers like High Carb Hannah who have gone on an all potato diet before. And she actually has now lost over 50 pounds following a starch based diet. There's Chris Voigt, who's the executive director of the Washington State Potato Commission, who ate 20 potatoes a day for 60 days and saw crazy results. He lost over 20 pounds, his BMI dropped by 3 points, cholesterol dropped by 67 points, triglycerides down 60 points, LDL 58 points. That is huge. And the only reason he did this was to show that potatoes are a healthy food to eat. You know, in this day and age, so many people are obsessed with 
meat and animal products and, and paleo diets and things like that. But Tato, man, get back to your roots, literally. There is a diet out there that is extreme in every measure. There's there's the meat only diet, the potato only diet, the there's a vegetable only diet, diet. There's and a everyone diet. who does that diet, including Andrew, sounds like you're on this this train right now. They claim that that is the best diet. Well, I'm going to say I will forever believe this. I think the best diet is the one that number one works for you. But variety is the spice of life. Why just eat potatoes if you can enjoy all the other wonderful foods in the world? And so, to me. Andrew, I say if this is what you want to do and you're being monitored and you're healthy, I go for it. You know, you be you. And I applaud you for taking your health into your own hands. I really do. Uh, but for people watching, I've said this before, we've had people on the show, banana only diet. I mean, I like it's just and to me, that's where things get confusing because it's like, well, banana, uh, what do I do? No, just here's the deal. If you eat a well-balanced diet of natural foods right. that grow from the earth, you're going to do just fine. Now I have to agree with Dr. Stork on this one. While I think that eating an all potato diet is healthy, why limit yourself to just one type of food or, or very few types of foods? Uh, you know, I understand that people don't do this their whole life and they're just doing this as sort of like a cleanse or they just wanna try something new. But let's just say that you are eating 20 potatoes a day you're still not going to be getting many of the nutrients according to the USDA's recommendations, that is. You know, you're gonna be inadequate in vitamin A, E, K, sodium, selenium, just to name a few. And it varies with the type of potato. So if you're eating, um, let's say sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes are very well known for their high content of vitamin A, so that would not be an issue. But just in general, I would not limit yourself to just one type of food, but I guess on a more personal note, if you think that going on a potato diet is, you know, kind of fun and exciting and you want to try it out for a little while, go for it. It's not a dangerous thing to do, just something that I would not recommend long term. But kudos to Andrew for going on this diet, losing all that weight and spreading such a healthy message to the world. Let me know what your thoughts are of this all potato diet down below. Also make sure you like this video and share it with your friends and be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at Bananiac and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video. So the strongest argument I have for you that the right diet for you is a starch-based diet is the following. And that is that all populations of trim healthy people throughout all verifiable human history obtained the bulk of their calories from starch. And that's a little confusing, isn't it? So let's go over it one more time. All large trim healthy populations of people, okay? All, you start thinking of exceptions. All large populations of trim healthy people throughout all of verifiable human history obtained the bulk of their calories from starch.